Adrian again, and I just want to thank you for your questions. I had real good questions here that could really, really uh, help many people. And subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell. And uh, I want you to comment below and tell me, tell me what you would rather I say and what subjects you want me to talk about. I've been a minister for 35 years and I've got 35 years of all kind of stuff that probably you may need the answer to. All right. I started real young, so you say, well, 35, you, you're not that old. Believe me, when you start young, you can go a long way. And so it's better to be healthy. It's better to be young and energetic. When it's, it's better to start young serving God so you'll be more effective later on. The, the idea is to be effective, not relevant. Both. I think, I think you need to be relevant and you need to be effective. Because you can be irrelevant and not be able to help people. You need to be effective at the same time. And so the audience I'm speaking to over here, I, I, should, I should forget that I'm speaking to the whole world here. And so what should I prioritize or what would I prioritize now and what would I prioritize when this is over, this, this coronavirus uh, pandemic is over? What should I prioritize? Well, right now, my, uh, there were other things going on in my life before this started and uh, I prioritized those. I was willing to, you know, exert all the energy I had into these projects. And there were other projects. Uh, I stopped them and I paid them up to the point and I thank God that I don't owe any money on those those two projects. We uh, Well, let me just tell you what it was. My wife is renovating a house and so I told her we'll just go up to this point right now because this pandemic has broken out. And number two, we were preparing for our 35th anniversary and that's all paid for. And so thank God for that. Thank God for that. The Lord was good. The Lord was good. I, I, I can't say it was me. It was the Lord. And then this pandemic just hit all of a sudden. You know, crisis doesn't ask your permission to come. It just, it just comes. Yeah. And, and the worst thing is if you're not prepared. All right, so what do I prioritize right now? What, what's my priority? My priority right now is, of course, we got to stay home when we've got a quarantine. Not that I, you know... I'm I'm not into the fear and I'm not into the virus thing. All right, I'm not here talking fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. But what I'm prioritizing right now is food. Food. Some some cities would not go on lockdown not just yet because they haven't secured the supplies. They haven't secured the food, the medical supplies, and once they've done that, they'll lock it down. So I, I I've heard that. And so with me, I'm making sure about, I'm making uh, the food, food security is number one. Um, just, just for my own personal, okay? Yeah, just for my, this is just for me. I, I have priorities for the ministry and people, but there, the, there's, diff, there, I mean, it's a different life. You know, you've got your own life and you've got, your, you've got the ministry life, okay? Now, if you're not all right, you can't minister to the others. And so... You can't minister effectively if you're not all right. So uh, I've prioritized food, number one, food. As the, the crisis uh, furthers, you're going to have to face some bills, all right? But right now, I'm just paid with my bills this month. And, and in some cases, you know, they suspend the bills. So I prioritize food and I prioritize salaries for employees. If, uh, you know, it's sad when you're working for someone, they lay you off. And there are, there are so many, many layoffs all over the world right now. Thank God, by the grace of God, I didn't have to lay off anybody. I don't want to lay off anybody. So I prioritized as far as I could. Maybe, maybe up to, uh, to uh, until after the crisis, but not a whole lot, lot after crisis. 
Anyway, as, as I am now, I prioritize the food, I prioritize the salaries. That's my main priority right now. My priority after this is over would be paying the bills that piled up, all right? Because right now, um, yeah, we're not being charged, but when this thing goes back to normal, they're going to charge us big time. And you need to be prepared for that. Now, what do you do? I would prioritize paying my bills, paying my bills and paying whatever I need to pay. I would prioritize that right after this. And at the same time, while this is going on, I would prioritize ministry-wise. Number one, those that need uh, strengthening, because you know, the, the ministry we have, it's called Word of Life Ministries. So we serve in that ministry and it evangelizes. It, it wins people to Jesus and we have a lot of new ones that have come to the Lord and we do cru two crusades a month and you'll see that in my page you'll see that uh, you know in the photos in my page if you go there my page on Facebook it's the link in the description below you'll see that there and well um, we prioritize food for them we did food distribution today I, I don't want to show these things on Facebook because it looks like you're showing off you know I don't like that uh, but I was asked this question so for the ministry uh, we don't just show them you care in a place like this where I'm at people really want to know if you care for them they don't care how uh, how anointed you are maybe you care about that but the people they really care if you're real they really care if you really do care about them um, I'm assigned here by God in an island in the middle of the Philippines and uh, there are two parts I'm, I'm in the occidental part okay and I've been here for 35 years in ministry and a lot longer in my life I was uh, I, I arrived here when I was eight years old started ministering when I was 18 so 10 years of just getting to know took me a long time to to learn the language here. So anyway, um, the uh, don't mind all these ambulances and stuff. People are put in the ambulance and it's not the coronavirus. A lot of people are, you know, just getting drunk on the street and getting into accidents. It's really wise to stay at home because you may be okay and someone else do the wrong thing. But anyway, uh, I'm prioritizing uh, reaching the people because not everybody has a computer not everybody has a smartphone and so we can text we can get on messenger like that and so I'm prioritizing uh, our contact with with the people constantly and we don't do it for money everything we do is already been paid for we we do that I mean that should have been done before this whole thing is over so what I did before this was over was I secured all the money that the ministry needed for equipment and everything. It's all it's all okay, and all I need to do right now is concentrate on the people, like what the Apostle Paul said: "We we don't want no one what's yours but you." People know if you love them, and especially the poor. I prioritize my priority is the poor, the poor. All right, and and if and if you're well to do, you should prioritize the poor. I believe that that's what Jesus would do, and so I I'm not here coming online trying to maintain the rich people. The rich people want to prioritize the poor too. That's true Christianity. All right, I don't disciple people so that I can keep them. I disciple people so that they can do the same thing that I do. And so I have a passion for souls. Uh, I don't have a passion for stealing people from another ministry. That's not our ministry. It's thank God. And also thank God that no one comes that's been a rebel somewhere else. However, I believe in winning the lost and that's what I've done. And I challenge people, you know, win the lost. Win the lost. There's a song, win the lost at any cost. And that's important. 
and you can still do it at this time of crisis because that's when they need it the most and this is an opportunity to bring people to Jesus and so you help them with food you help them with your care and love yeah and of course of course you include the Word of God but believe me you if you start out trying to teach people they better know you care they better know you love them amen that's how it is over here I know the people where I'm at now though I'm talking to the world this may take a little bit of adjustment my YouTube uh, audience this may take a little bit of adjustment because I'm just used to the people of this of, of where I'm at you know people I love here in this island I speak language everything and uh, I'm now I'm talking to the world so prioritize the poor prioritize people you care for and you love and you know what they're not gonna love you back they may they may not but however you do it anyway because that's what Jesus would do amen amen